So if you're in a market for email marketing, email sending, cold emailing, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm going to do a video on uh, MailWiz version. There was a Mail uh, Interspire version before. This is a MailWiz. I'm going to show you what you can expect if this is right for you and how to do email marketing in 2022 and beyond. Stick around, subscribe, like, and let's begin. If you're in a market and you've heard about sending cold emails is great for the companies or the business and uh, you want to promote your service, your business, your whatever you're offering, um, you can do so via email marketing. Email marketing first and foremost is legal, cold emailing is legal. Uh, unless you spam people, unless you don't provide your address or unsubscribe link, everything is legal. Uh, whether it's ethical, I don't know, that's really up to you, but uh, depending on what you're promoting, you can have a great campaign, uh, meet new people, get new clients, and grow your business. A uh, few things that to notice is that uh, depending on the server type, you can actually get, there is quite a few uh, online options, uh, which all of them are great. The one that I'm going to show you is actually, this is MailWiz, and uh, this is my server test server that I use for uh, my clients um, or my friends or whoever, and I've been sending campaigns for them. The open rates are amazing because this is a warmed up server and uh, bounce rate is a bit high as you can see, but there's no hard, there is uh, no statistics here. It's not hard bounces as you can see here. Um, what we do is this, uh, pretty much uh, in 2020 uh, to and beyond, you're going to have uh, IP uh, tools that stop your emails from getting to inbox and uh, it's going to be on the level of entire company. So let's say you want to send to... Uh, Bill Gates at Microsoft.com and uh, the IP address is blocked by their uh, IP service. There is uh, uh, tools right now where they can stop your IP from sending any emails uh, from your servers or whoever. Uh, what happens is we actually stop sending from the server so we don't, we don't get black blacklisted. If there is a tool, if there is something uh, out there that's going to stop our server from sending and blacklist us, we're going to send only one email and then we're going to stop. So the bounce rate really doesn't matter here because for us, the way we set it up is a perfect way of not getting blacklisted. And that's why we're getting high open rates. Um, this was a small campaign, the last campaign that I've sent, um, but I've sent a lot more other campaigns. And uh, usually there is really high open rates, as you can see here, if the list is good. Now, there is a time when I have 2-3% open rates. This is a big list. Um, I paused it because this was a test and uh, out of 77,000 that we've sent 1,000 people open. So it's a numbers game in most of the cases. It's a numbers game. It doesn't matter if you get 1% open rate or if you get 50% open rate because if your list is good and targeted, you're going to get business even out of 1% open rate if it's a huge list. The bigger the list, the less the, the, less the chance that people are going to open because you send a lot of emails. Um, you're not going to expect 80% or 50% open rates from a large list. But even 1% out of that or 3% that we're getting here is, uh, it means that, you know, you get at least 1,000 people to open, which is perfect. So your um, message has been seen by 1,000 people, 1,000 people or here 4,000 people. So you're getting a lot of um, action there. Uh, whether they're going to uh, click. It really depends on the content, um, on the subject line, and also on the way you uh, move your uh, potential clients through the sales funnel or marketing funnel. This is, they call it marketing funnel, there is sales funnel. It's the same thing. Um, so the funnel itself has to be uh, thought out before you send any email campaigns. And uh, the, the way to do that is to actually think what those people want. So um, if you have that set up and if you have everything ready, uh, this is mail base. it's fairly simple. You give your campaign a name. Um, I just wanna show you how simple it is to create a campaign. Um, and then you, if you want autoresponder, you can set that up as well. Uh, you pick up the list that you wanna send to. And then once you do that, you can select a segment if you've segmented your lists. And then a group if you uh, created a groups within the list and then you can do um, you can select save an X uh, there's another thing where you can select for example if you've sent the campaign you can actually resend to those that didn't open or you can send to those that did open if you want to send up a follow-up email to those that opened so there's a lot of setup here I'm just gonna uh, show you the basics I'm not gonna dive deep into um, anything else so 
let's say you want to send um, an email I'm going to show you a few things here on this particular server so since this is my personal server and I send again as I said for my friends um, what you want to have is this you want to have uh, from email that stays the same as servers as you can see here here in the URL is the server's email why I leave this as is is because the open rates are much higher reply to email uh, for every single email server that we provide our clients, we create um, a mailbox so you, they can actually reply. You can actually leave the same email and then go and log into your mailbox and see if anybody replies. replies. This is even better for open rates and it's a lot better for a server to handle uh, replies than uh, for somebody to get an email, reply to that click uh, they, they click to reply to their email and just goes to your name at, at gmail.com so they can see that something is different you want to keep it the same um, domain names don't really matter to me and I tell people you know a lot of people want something let's say I'm just gonna give you an example um, let's say billgates.com and he wants me to send in you know email campaign he's like hey man I you know I, I want to use billgates.info or billgates. whatever. Uh, it's my name, it's my brand, I want to use that. What I suggest is not getting a brand new domain because brand new domains get blacklisted really fast. How we do it and what we do is actually buy domains, not this one, but we, for our clients, we buy the domains that are on auction. Uh, once we do that, uh, uh, there is a high, higher chance of inbox because those domains that we purchase have been online for at least five years, six years, seven years. Some of them have very high authority if, when we get those, uh, depending on the you know auctions, we try to get as uh, higher authority as possible so that once we connect it to the server, you actually get a really quality server that can send to inbox and uh, Microsoft Outlook live whatever the extension of the email that's the same uh, that's all microsoft uh, then google then aol and those other uh, privately owned uh, companies that have their own email uh, servers and their own email systems it's easier to get through the inbox because this domain has been online for a long time so once uh, we set it up my suggestion is to leave this as same as the the server's domain uh, from name you can say you know whoever my name you know your name whatever name you want to use first last name subject line is very important so subject line is one of the most important things that you can uh, uh, use for you to get higher open rates and also I like using emojis because and it's very easy you just click here hey hey Mike for example you can use short codes as well uh, first name and then um, hey Mike how's it going this is just uh, this is just a test and it's it's not it's not something that I would suggest you use but uh, this should get higher open rates for example you can use anything whatever the, the emoji you want to use so why you want to use the first name I'm going to show you the exact uh, tags right here you can select you can select so if your list has the first name last name right there you just copy paste this I typed it and I didn't type it right because everything has to be capitalized and uh, right there so this is going to pull first name from the list so this is the campaign setup uh, live from and reply to email as they are if you can uh, you have your name here do not hide do not it's if you make it more personal if you make it real uh, they're gonna respond uh, they're gonna respond a lot better than if you just use some fake name if you use fake company if you use if you don't use their address if you don't use any of that so make sure you're real and they know that because that's what you're gonna get you know th that's how your campaign is gonna do if you are uh, coming with the real stuff they're gonna reply to you and they're gonna respond they're gonna go to your website etc so um, the next thing I want to show is the tracking you just leave this as is plain text email yes because do you you want to have options uh, if somebody does have HTML which is in 2022 probably impossible it's like 1% of people but it just sends them the and it, it does uh, um, show on the mobile as the pre text preview which is really good Next subscribers, you don't want to do any of this because random subscribers, you don't want to do any of that because uh, this is going to pull from the list, so it's all good. The template part is very easy. Again, you can do um, a regular email here and then make it really nice. 
you can also copy the code right here, source, and then you can copy, for example, b3.io. I'm going to show you that uh, in a second. So what happens, you can create a really nice looking template, very beautiful. They're a little on the heavy side, but you can create them and then you can upload them right here. And then you can do uh, a little bit of editing if you know the coding. If not, uh, what I suggest is using uh, the template builder. So let's delete this. Let's go to template builder and you can make it really nice. You can put a logo in here. You can have a text here and then make it nice and then box text, whatever you, message you want to come across, you know, as a highlighted area and you can change the colors. You can do what, however you like it. So this is fairly simple, I would say, and anybody can use this. And then once you save and then you click here, save content, yeah, uh, um, you can have a really good looking uh, template or a campaign footer. I just drop it here and I make sure that unsubscribe this part right here is a different color and it's bigger and I make them know that they can unsubscribe easily, easily. So I'll delete this. So there is more space and they are unsubscribe and then make it bigger. And uh, after that, now, once you're ready, you can click save and next, and then you can, once you check everything, you can select save and stay on page or send campaign. Uh, there's 15,000 subscribers for this type of list that we got 33% rate, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 32% uh, opens, um, which is really good. So the list is good. The list is targeted. It's good. It works. Um, if you're not getting anything out of the campaigns that you're sending, there is something wrong in the, in the campaign, or maybe even though people are opening, maybe they're not your targeted audience. A lot of people think because, hey, I've got the list. Everybody's got the list. I have 100 million lists. And if I've sent to them that I'm doing web design or email marketing or digital marketing, and I send to all of them, they're not going to be my... Um, clients because that's the first first time they're seeing my email first thing so first time then seeing my email i'm not taking them through the funnel i'm not doing anything i'm just asking them hey do you need a website that's what what a lot of people do and that's where the big mistake is hey i'm having i have this i'm offering that to you it doesn't work like that not in 2022 it used to work like that 15 years ago when i started sending email marketing uh, i used to send uh, for my client in real estate and we would send a, a thousand emails and we would have over a hundred calls It was amazing, but it's not like that anymore. It doesn't work like that unless it's your targeted list It's very targeted specific, you know, their pain points and you can actually get them to respond um, I had clients before that had everything ready. We had the list, but people didn't respond. So what happens is that uh, maybe those are not your ideal clients. Maybe they are oversaturated. For example, real estate industry is way too oversaturated. Anybody in real estate industry is receiving at least 20 to 30 spam emails every single day. And do you think that they are going to open your email and say, okay, well, this guy is different. You're not. There is, they, they receive 20, 30 emails every single day. They're tired of emails. They're tired of marketing. A lot of them have their private emails that they use for business because they can't use their business email anymore. That's how bad it got. And uh, for right now, there is no law that's going to change uh, sending cold email, even spamming. A lot of people are spamming. I'm not a spammer. I never have been. Um, I started out as you know sending mass emails that back in the day it wasn't considered spam but at this point right now what's considered spam if you don't have unsubscribe link and if you don't have an address where they can physically send an, a mail in the letter and say hey i don't want to receive your email so that's why you have to have that by can spam law that's the 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 in 2022 still that's the law so you have to abide by that law and you have to make sure that you don't send uh, emails to unwanted subjects for the list, it's very simple. You just create a new list and then uh, you select everything that you want to select. You write in the name uh, that's going to show on the campaign as well. From email, again, reply to email. You can leave this as is because it's going to be a better open rate. And then you just send campaign. Once you're sending campaign, I just want to show you how it looks. It looks exactly like this. And you can refresh to see how many more people open while the campaign is running. So 106, this is a very small list. Um, and it's a, it's a good list because this is a very targeted list, but you can see who opened. You can see there exactly, uh, you know, from windows, one, the guy, one guy came from, uh, 
uh, Apple either device or whatever. Desktop, 25, 100% from desktop. So people are on computers. These are business emails. And uh, how many people clicked on subscribe, who clicked on subscribe, who sent an email, etc. So you can see all of that and you can see what they're actually doing. Um, so this is the biggest, bigger list and it's still 54% open rates, which is amazing. And uh, that's how it looks pretty much. This is a bank list. It's a, it's a list that has a lot of filters. So there's a lot of bounces. Again, these are not, in most cases, hard bounces. It's just your submitter, uh, they reject it before it hits the, the mailbox. It's internal. So we stop after that. We stop all of these. These are all stopped by us. So we don't get the server blacklisted. And even if it gets blacklisted, which is okay, this is sent from another seed. The domain is different here. Uh, this was on another domain. Once it gets blacklisted, we replace the domain for you and you keep on sending. My job is for you to keep on sending. That's the ideal thing. And uh, one more thing that I want to show you, even if, and we'll check that now, I'm pretty sure this domain is blacklisted. Um, MX Toolbox, I'm pretty sure this is because I've been using it for a while and I haven't replaced or changed it. And uh, let me just see, it's probably blacklisted and it depends where it's blacklisted. Like you can be on some blacklist and keep on sending and get hit inbox with no problem uh, on another. Um, okay, so yeah, let's see. And we're gonna run through this because this is this is funny for me as well. Uh, that info is usually the, the problem because it's a brand new, this was a brand new domain that I warmed up and I'm not concerned about these three. So even if I if I buy a, a used domain and everything, I'm blacklisted here, I don't care because these are not gonna do much damage. What I'm uh, worried about is Barracuda, uh, Spam House Zen, and some other major blacklists that I that I don't see here. I'm not I'm not blacklisted. So it's it's amazing that I've been sending emails for for a few months from this domain and it's not blacklisted. So that's the point. Even if it does get blacklisted, we replace and give you a new one price on this if you send for you 500 and up uh, if you send yourself 300 and up depending on the speed on the uh, what type of server depending on the domain there is a lot of things that you know I'm just giving you the bottom line like the the, the worst uh, the, the easiest or the cheapest is 300 for you to send but it has to it like you would not get the service where we replace the domain where we you know it really depends on what you need and how many subscribers so um for the regular, like where we send and take care of everything, it's 500 and up, depending again on the, the your list side, on your how many lists you have, how many campaigns you have, how much we're going to be sending, etc. So um, there is quite a lot of things that actually, uh, um, you know, impact the price of the, the server. And that's why you you should send us an email. I'm going to leave the email on the, in the description um, and send us an email if you have any questions about email servers. This is the MailWiz. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. It's great. Interspar is also great. I create, I'll create a new video on that. So just subscribe and like, and I'm going to be uh, promoting more videos. I'm going to be doing more videos and also share. If you have anybody who's interested, just share it out there online so people can see what this is all about. Very simple and straightforward process. You can also have templates and then just put them in. Um, but again, I'm not going to dive deep right now. I'm going to, I may do a video and that's uh, a lot a lot more in depth um, and also ask questions if you have any questions just ask me and i can do video on that thanks for watching subscribe like and i'll see you again bye bye